Good afternoon everyone. Uh, I hope you all are doing uh, fine over there. Uh, today I'm going to solve one problem which was asked in April long challenge uh, in this month. Uh, the problem name is sell all the cars and you can even search car sale uh, inside CodeSafe. So let's uh, get to the problem. Uh, the problem says that safe has n cars uh, which is being numbered from 1 through n and he wants to sell all those cars in such a way that uh, he will obtain maximum profit and there is one condition that every year the car values uh, will reduce by one so tell him uh, how can he sell all those cars in an optimal way so that he can get the maximum profit out of it and there is one condition which says that if the car price drops to zero then uh, he is not going to get maximum uh, profit out of it so it remains zero throughout the subsequent year and uh, there is one warning that he might earn a lot of money from that car so there is a condition which state that if if the profit of a safe is much more than 10 digit then you should uh, take the modulus of the, that answer okay we have been given with test cases and leave that part okay uh, i think we will uh, while taking the under the consideration of constraint we can even do it in uh, n square complexity we have to do it okay let me let me talk about the test cases test cases uh, there are two test cases the sample test cases uh, given and i will be discussing about you it here so let me discuss about uh, first test cases here he has got uh, three cars and he wants uh, the maximum profit out of it if there were no conditions then he could have got 18 as the maximum but the condition is that every year the car of uh, the price of car will reduce by one so uh, in first year the value is six in second uh, next car value will be five and uh, in third year the next uh, last car value will be four so at most he can uh, get profit of six plus 5 plus 4 which is equals to 6 plus 5 plus 15 okay and 15 is the output okay and while talking about the second test cases which is 0 1 and 0 uh, if he sell first a car then he will get 0 second he will get 0 uh, uh, second car 0 and third car 0 which means 0 but the sample output is 1 how uh, because the trick is that uh, he uh, it is said that he can uh, sell the cars in optimal way uh, which means that uh, optimal way which means that he will try to sell all those cars which has got a, a higher price in first and then sell sell those cars which are get which are having lower price at last so what he will choose is that he will choose the maximum out of uh, what he will do is that he will uh, take maximum uh, maximum uh, price of a car like a max price of any car and then he will try to sell uh, it in first year sell uh, sell it in first year in that way what he will do is that he will reduce uh, he will reduce the rate of depreciation so while taking uh, talking about logic what what we can do is that we can uh, we can store all we can uh, store uh, we can store all those uh, car price in descending order uh, what happens after that that is uh, uh, if we store that in descending order the car having maximum price will come to the first and if we reduce it uh, then uh, there will be very less chances that uh, uh, safe is going to get minimum cost uh, minimum profit so we can store that in price and we can uh, we we will uh, reduce all the cars uh, by one unit uh, through one loop so what I will do is that uh, I will take a loop uh, take a loop uh, of here and I will try to I will and I will uh, uh, reduce all those value values by one uh, by count by year year as a counter year counter so I will I'll tell you tell you what happens is that uh, let's suppose that year counter is zero that is first year okay and there are three cars so in first so, so what i will uh, do is that i will run a loop uh, for year uh, until n uh, n is basically number of car number of cars uh, what i will do is that i will uh, i will reduce the value of uh, if um, value of car by year and then I will increase air plus plus. So what happened after that is the, uh, what happened over here is that uh, let me take example. The first is six, six and six, and here is zero. 
so in first condition for int i is equals to 0 uh, i is less than n i plus plus okay uh, what i will do is that array of i which is 6 equals to array of 6 minus year okay and then year year plus plus what happens is that uh, first it will go inside the loop and it will reduce 6 minus uh, 6 by 1 unit which uh, initially which is 0 so it will get 6 and 6 getting added into profit in second the year becomes 1 uh, and so it will try to reduce on another maximum value which is 6 by 1 which becomes 5 and which get added in 6 plus 5 and in an year becomes 2 and uh, since we have reached to the last element uh, it will reduce uh, the value uh, which is fortunately 6 by 2 times so accordingly uh, we can reduce all those value and we can get the maximum profit out of it while writing about code let me write the code of it okay in t for handling test cases I will go inside loop I will take n <coughs> okay I will take n and I will declare a vector which is basically nothing but uh, you can see vector is uh, we, we will talk about that but a vector is basically dynamic array and I will take the element okay this one is done and then I will I will uh, sort it in descending order. So sort v dot begin v dot end uh, in descending order. We have to use this function, and it will do this job for us. And now I am going to increase. What, I am going to reduce the values uh, uh, less than n i plus plus what i will do is that i will reduce vi minus equals to c and t and then i will increase counter for the next reduction so uh, on the fourth time it will uh, so that on the fourth time what happens is uh, like uh, four five six seven uh, like four five six seven is given our value becomes seven six five four if i have to uh, uh, sell this four car what will happen it will be reduced by one two and three unit three units so that unit is being told by um, by counter okay it is easy and what i will do i will uh, declare a max profit as a zero and then i will go inside loop uh, for int i is equals to zero i is less than uh, and i plus plus okay and i will check the maximum if if uh, the given element is greater than zero or not if given element is greater than uh, zero greater than zero then i will add max profit in it max profit is equals to like we have to use or oh, we will we have to use this condition as well as modulus so what i will do is i will declare modulus uh, as modulus as 10 e 9 plus 7 this uh, this is nothing but 10 7 i think uh, this this uh, we can write that in this form you can go and check calculator and you, you will find some interesting uh, story about that max profit plus uh, vector of uh, we have uh, stored the value percentage modulo uh, this will give maximum and then i think we will uh, return those value to the shape so that he can enjoy his profit modulo and since there are a lot of test cases so we will use handle i think uh, this is uh, this is it the co about coding we are basically order, sorting that in descending order we are reducing the value and then we are basically taking how many maximum profit is present i think uh, my code if it is right then it will not get give any syntactic error I think it is not going to give me any syntactic error modulus it will it will okay that is great I will try to run this 15 1 okay perfectly it is working uh, good you can get 15 there is one okay let me optimize my code if there is anything which I can optimize I don't think there are anything this one is good okay this one is good I could have declared that above 
you will reduce one um, but it is not going to work it is better we, we need we can declare the variable okay we have re, we have used this so that so that uh, we can we can prevent uh, integer overflow overflow and similarly if the value is more than 10 digits so here same integer uh, overflow is handle uh, let me submit this code and uh, if I am wrong then uh, we will look out into solution what 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 is the wrong thing I have committed uh, if not then uh, I think this is the solution for the given code it is easy uh, let me check it out I have participated in contest so there is I did it it was it took some time but uh, it was good I think I think I think it is let me check that I think it should be right it should be right of course of course it is right. of course it is right so I think this is all for this video if you get confused in any uh, any of the line or any code snippet then you can comment me or you can uh, you can go through different tutorials um, where you can get much bit, much more better approach like you can visit codesafe editorials and then you can get if you don't understand in case otherwise try to do yourself uh, yourself and thank you very much